In today's video, I bought a mystery Yu-Gi-Oh collection. And uh, yeah, it's very mysterious because I don't know what's in here. Time to do, 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 do. What is up? We are back with another mystery collection opening, and this one is legitimately a total mystery. I was never told any cards in here, so I just bought it. I'm Well, I haven't technically bought it yet, but I'm going to be buying it. We're going to see what's inside. I got a value like-ish of what it should be worth. It was quoted at 5200 but that was like the top dollar like amount. So we'll see like if it's even close to that, because a lot of times, you know, there's a number and it not even close, but sometimes it is close. So I hope it's 5200 That's a pretty solid collection. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this. Elemental Hero Wild Heart. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know. Did we get close to 5,200 in terms of full, like full value TCG, whatever? Or was it not that good? All right, let's check it out. Um, I did pre-open just to see like, you know, what this was. And then I realized what it was. So it's a collection. So I haven't actually looked at anything. I've just seen that there is a bunch of stuff that looks like a collection. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm going to pull out some of this stuff because this looks like there's going to be a lot of raw cards in here. I haven't really bought a collection with a bunch of raw. Well, I guess I have a few times, but uh, most of the time we're buying a lot of graded stuff now. And so this is actually kind of interesting to get back to. There's some Maven sleeves in here, everybody. Huh? I have sold a few of these on whatnot, so I don't have quite as many as I used to, but I still have a lot left. Okay, let's get all these sleeves out. Try to get everything out. There's weird packaging in here. I don't, I don't know. Okay, there's a binder too. So we'll probably save that for last. That's probably the best cards. Okay, let's go through this. First of all, we have a, was this 2023 Megaton? Uh, I think this is mostly bulk, but we are going to run through it and just see if there's any like, what kind of bulk are we looking at? We're looking at, okay, Megaton 2023. So that makes sense. Oh, ho, ho, already hitting bangers. We got to pull that out. Uh, Pump King, some metal raiders yeah so it looks like it's some random packs let's see what else we got in here let's run through this real quickly and just see if there's any cool commons because there is some value in commons sometimes uh i mean these aren't all going to be common so that's a secret rare that's from rarity one so some rarity one that's good if there's any good rarity one cards i'll have to look and see if there's any ashes you know stuff like that there's a few cards that i need to get my rarity one sets back together yeah, a bunch of rarity collection one is always nice Siege. Okay, now we're on to Megaton 2023. Okay. All right. Okay. Last par. More Metal Raiders, it looks like. MRD, one of the best sets ever made. Probably the best set, in my opinion. There's Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler. All right. Grande Moth. Boom. Can we complete the trifecta? Give us the Pequeno Moth. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, there's a Platinum Rare ice barrier so it's probably completely worthless but okay just running through real quick not gonna spend looking at every single card but yeah there's some more cards in there okay we found two epic cards in there so far there's another one of those so i'm guessing more bulk okay yeah so we're probably not gonna run through all this it's probably similar stuff okay yeah we'll go through that later let's try this right here whatever this thing is i don't know really what in the world is going on here it's like an upside down booster box in a booster box let's see let's see let's see all right so more bulk it looks like i'm just gonna pull this out of this box because i'm not gonna be keeping this in here oh yeah there's also the sleeves so these are all maven sleeves it looks like yeah that's three of the six artworks then there's some open ones for the yuka ona and the engage all right so some mavens was open there's some penny sleeves is there anything that's not bulk before the binder okay oh more more uh more sleeves so we did get more maven sleeves i don't think that's any of the ones that i have i'm low on i have like a bunch of the engaged because i did ever use those because like they're probably the most valuable ones and then i used a bunch of the other ones so i'm running out of some of them unfortunately because then the sets don't work as well okay these cards are sleeved what does that mean oh okay ultimate rare okay that's just a random bolt card we have a rescue cat ultimate rare dd crow cross out designator is not bad pot of duality access code so some rarity two in here got some promos it looks like so some probably 25th i'm guessing these have 25th promos in there how do i yeah there you go you can see the shine there okay we have the mega 10 promos i've a few of those obviously because we've seen them lost art stuff lost art more lost art there's more promos of those okay lost art bursinitrix is nice barrel dragon's really cool i love that one black rose beautiful card and then a random bursinitrix and a couple or okay so we did get a few cards that are worth something in there that's not bad the rest is probably all rarity two i would guess 
Yeah, it looks like Rarity 2, which I do have a few cards from Rarity 2 myself, if you guys didn't know. I do have a few Rarity 2 cards. I still do have some uh, Super Ultra and Secret sets available, so if you want some of those, check out Ruxin34.com. All right, that leaves us with the binder, so let me clear some space for this, and we will go through. I'm guessing, I mean, if it's 5200, this is, I mean, it's all, it's all here. This is the last part, so. So far, it's just been a few couple decent things, but the big cards are usually big singles, right? So let's see. All right, I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to do this. Uh, we have all right, so the premium pack four from Japan with the Dark Magician girl and the Dark Magician. I'm going to try to keep this as steady as but this is one of the ones that wants to close all the time. So this is going to be difficult, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, Ghost Rare Red Eyes, 25th Anniversary Red Eyes. We got Limited BPT Red Eye. Okay, so we're looking at some old school stuff. That's pretty cool. We have Summon Skull reprint. We have the BPT Summon Skull, another reprint. Some oh, wait, no, that's DB1. That's a reprint. Yeah, that's DB1. Okay. B-Skulls, no first eds that we're seeing so far, but there's some good stuff. Oh man, this is going to be a lot of conditioning. <laughs> I will likely be going through a lot of raw cards to figure this one out. Oh, first ed gear free, that's cool. Uh, Secret Rare Thousand Dragon. I just started up, by the way, I've, I haven't actually mentioned this on a video yet, but I started up a box of just first ed original hollows, which I should have done a long time ago. I have about three or 400 in there right now, so as I go through stuff like this, I'm probably going to be adding to that and attempting to just have every hollow from back then and multiple copies and stuff like that. Just because it's fun and everything's like extremely cheap now, so it's not as crazy. Like, I don't need to resell some of those as much because some of them are like a dollar, you know, even the big ones, you know, some Metal Raiders and Pharaoh Servants, stuff like that they're not even that expensive so i might start accumulating as i go but so far we've seen some good stuff i am not seeing any like massive cards though so far at least i mean we haven't seen anything over 100 i don't think if i had to guess uh maybe the bpts could get up there if they're near mint those are those are potentially expensive uh the red eyes ghost i think is only like 50 last i checked there's an injection fairly lily original print very cool oh first at revival if that's in nice condition that could be decent uh, okay. All right, Harpy's Feather Dusters. Those are really cool. Three different versions. FMR, that's a pretty expensive card. That's one of the bigger ones we've seen so far. Uh, Harpy Girl. We have the Blue Eyes from 2002 and 2003. So those can, and then the FL1. So in good condition, they can add up. Those, they're tar pretty hard to find in like near mint. So that could add up. Okay, Blue Eyes right here. That's our biggest card. Definitely shifted over, but that's $125, I think, in near mint-ish. That's a pretty big one. That's not big, but it's worth a little bit. Uh, Legendary Dragon of White, same thing. Probably 30 bucks, 40 bucks if I had to guess. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ublaz, uh, Ultimate Dragon, still really cheap. 35, 40, last I saw. I mean, we're adding up. There's some good cards. There's an MRL Blue Eyes Tune. Those are, like, weirdly expensive, even though they're unlimited, but they're MRL, so they're not SRL. So I guess that kind of counts as, like, a mini first ed. Uh, that's SDP, not MRL, so not crazy. Okay, more of the dark. I like the organization of this binder. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty cool. Oh, there we go. 25th anniversary. The cool, awesome print of this Dark Magician. Oh, yeah, this guy. We, we didn't pull him, I don't think. We never pulled him. That card's not very expensive, but it's really beautiful. I like it. There's a, uh, okay, Dark Paladin. Too bad it's not first dead. Some people still think this is the error or like the big misprint one if it's unlimited it's just normal so it's not the first ad one would be huge yeah those are really really big um uh, oh okay now i got some big ones dark magician girl is that two dark magician girls mfc mfc then you got two rise of destiny you got one from Sp speed duel battle city why did there's a dark magician girl in battle city how did i forget that that's actually pretty big then you have the ct2 okay well wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty big page that's good legendary magician of dark that's also nice we have the ooh, really cool Dark Magician. Okay, th there is some good stuff in here. It's definitely going to be worth... I mean, it's going to be worth a decent amount. I don't know if we're going to get to 5200 or not, but it is fairly expensive. I can't remember exactly, but... Oh, there we go. There's some first eds. That could go in my first ed thing. Oh, and I didn't notice that. Legendary Fisherman's first ed, too. Yeah, that's a pretty good page. Okay, okay, game promos. These are not big money, but they are really awesome and nostalgic. Oh, yes! And McDonald's pack, not the full set. Three of the five hollows. More game promos. Good stuff. Oh, that one's actually from uh, Light of Destruction first ed. Getting a reprint very soon. Ancient Fairy, pretty cool. Silent Silent Magician, level four and eight. These needed to be like higher rarity. I mean, they look great in super, but they honestly should just be like ultra or something. All right, more CTs. Okay, I gave away all these on whatnot the other day. One through 10, all 10 of the ultra promos. I don't think they're all here, but uh, like eight of them are maybe. There's Armed Dragon. Is that from Soul the Duelist on Limb? That's cool. Then we have, uh, okay, pretty cool stuff. By the way, this is a subscriber. The channel has been subscribed since 2020. So, oh, that's nice. First edition. 
a uh, full set of those. So that's pretty cool. So shout out to Alex for sending me this and selling me this. Uh, ulti. Ooh, ulti. That's nice. Okay, these are pretty good page. Elemental Heroes. Uh, Bersentrix alt art again. Neo Secret, one of my favorites. Then we got, uh, oh, Secret Rare. Okay, looking good. Oh, first edition. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Yeah, that might... is. That's not an ulti, but it comes in ulti. Arcanine Magician 2. Got some newer stuff here with a couple goats. Oh, the Wing Dragon Raw. This card is so cheap. Now it's only like 100 bucks. It's crazy. Used to be like 250 maybe even 300 at one point. And then we got maybe some Ultra Rares. Yeah, maybe. No, some of those are Collector Rares, I think. It's hard, kind of hard to tell with the Collector Rares these days. Okay, Ultimate Rare Utopia. Collector Rare Utopia. 25th Anniversary Utopia. Barons, unfortunately, banned. Uh, we got some QCRs over here from Rarity. Pretty nice. And then we have some more nice cards as well. So overall, pretty nice binder. That was pretty good, actually. My gut feeling says not 5,200 in value, but that happens a lot where there's like a discrepancy or whatever. Or you've used an app and sometimes the apps are right about some things, not about the others. Overall, though, nice collection. Not a ton of like first eds, but a lot of OG cards, which is really cool. And I know you guys like seeing these like nostalgic ones, and that definitely was with all those game promos. Even some of the unlimited ogs the secret rares from the tens that everybody like it was a little bit easier to get those back in the day so you saw them a lot more and they definitely bring back the memories for the playground and stuff so that's a pretty awesome collection if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you want to see more collections come through we do a lot of high-end ones and sometimes there's like some really low we don't really necessarily do many like this anymore it feels like the old school cards because they're so cheap and unlimited i tend to not buy them as much because it's a lot of work to get them but they're really fun to go through and i'm excited to see the conditions because if there are like near mint mint cards that could really add to it shout out to tone po show and esto deanna america deutscher kk beats brandon cheney ian musa jr barding robert f chang lang and adelso garcia jr thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace